Okay, I speak a question four. See the question on e exponential function slash inverse function because why do I say slash inverse function? Because nangabe udilane exponential function, especially laga grade twelve. Um, I don't think there is a question where you get to escape without having to talk about its inverse function, right? The logarithmic function. Check out the description box for more content again for this paper. If you do enjoy content, I would appreciate nangabe ushia a like, we are share or we are subscriber if if this is the first time um watching a content yamla. Okay, so 4.1 oh there's also another youtube channel um and now your former tutorials i would appreciate now we are subscriber to that one as well okay so lana they want us to calculate the value of q so you know point a no point b both of these points are my point is what on the graph of g point a happens to be the point of intersection between g and its inverse very important information so for this one so seven are only the coordinate gabani got b so we have the g of x which is 2 over 5 raised to exponent x so this is y the y coordinate of point b it's q yam substitute then i have a 2 over 5 raised to exponent bani negative 2 so to solve this, I shall go calculator, but mean I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna try to do it without one. Um, no, 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 no. Two lana. Then it's positive two. Five raised to exponent two. Two raised to exponent two. That's gonna be twenty-five over four. Twenty-five over four. So now you punch a calculator. You should get this. Okay. So we'll go 4.2. They want us to write down the equation of okay, the inverse. They want us to get the inverse function, but the inverse function here too, we should write it down in the form of y equal to. So I'm gonna take a function here, I'm the given one. Y equal to two over five raised to exponent what? X. Raised to exponent x. So what do we do? We're gonna swap ama ama variables with. This is how we get the logarithm inverse function here too, because an inverse function is the reflection of your graph about the line y equal to x. So the x is alana about two over five y is a lapa. Therefore, to get our g minus cnzani, we apply the log. Fun, um, the, the log definition so that we make y the subject y is going to be equal to log 2 over 5 x log 2 over 5 x so this is our answer again all right this is our answer then this is a lana 4.3 they're asking for a domain of the inverse function did you know did you know did you know okay when um for an inverse function um the domain and range for the inverse function it's the same as the domain oh, it's okay it's the <laughs> okay 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 um i know what i want to say but the i'm going to go explain that okay in terms of what you should be I have an original function. That original function has a domain and range. Ne? Has a domain and range. The domain and range for the inverse function, it's the, dom it's the domain and range of the original function swapped. Swapped. So meaning that the domain of the original function becomes the range of the inverse function the range of the original function becomes the domain of the inverse function for instance original function has a domain and range of let's say this is the domain um is it to minus one all the way up to infinity i'm i'm, I'm okay i'm just making this up ne? just making this up it's some weird function in my head 
minus I don't know if this thing even exists but I'm just making an example an example so for the inverse function for the inverse function the domain and range are corner it's gonna be the domain it's x element of zero minus infinity and then the range it's gonna be um, y element of minus one to infinity that's it that's it you just swap them you have a swap you have one so logo gube it domain and then this domain became the range you have one it became the range you just swap you just swap you just swap if you didn't know now you know now you know easy mark easy mark easy mark so to answer this one it means that to get a domain for the inverse function what um what do we have to do we have to get a range of the original function so the range for g range for g range got g um let's say g of x range yeah g of x range it's what it's y element of hmm, zero to infinity it starts here yellow papizul that's the range i'm excluding the zero over e asymptote all right so for the g minus one x what is the domain for this what is the domain it's basically the same as above you just remove y and put in obani or x that's it that's it that's it that's it all right um any questions or directly about the comment section we'll talk we'll talk i'll respond as soon as i see my comments work okay so 4.4 for which values of x will this be true we want the values for x where u g of x are less than or equal to g minus 1 x all right another easy mark another easy mark another another easy mark it's okay 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 yeah we are not going to turn these into zilula but this should be an easy mark that's what i want to say all right so into we understand la ukuthi your function okay when it comes to a question like this come look was prepare a sort of like a rough sketch a rough sketch of your of the in of the inverse function as well because u compare to yama function much the original and the the what the inverse function so the inverse function is sketch the corner it's gonna look something like this just a rough sketch you do it doesn't have to be accurate ne? doesn't have to be accurate but something like this is over something like this something like this this point ibala this ibala right ibala so how do I know with this sketch I'm see something like this? It's something on I enza calculator ya ko just just a quick one, just a quick one, just a quick one. Just a quick one. We yeah, prepare a sketch like this one, right? And then lana I know good there's a point of intersection bani A at ni P and 0 0.59. Close bracket. Close bracket okay so manage again okay it's an easy question but 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 um you know it can give you a little bit of a headache but 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 you know it's not that difficult check 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 ufuna that part or region of your graph where uchi anga pants you call and the inverse function is where ma pezu this is g the one the original function then is no g minus the inverse function so which in a pansy inverse function a puzzle which part of the graph is that which part of the graph do we get that 
all right we want any ama x values the x values that are making this possible um point of intersection so y okay all right yeah so what are the x values that are making this possible um it's actually this point this region now which you are pansy and then the inverse function is above is above now right ging a pansy inverse function up right it's this region so it's from zero all the way up to the x coordinate of bunny of a the p value the p value the p value all right so it means that we have to calculate to p somehow we have to calculate to p so how do we calculate to p um p one thing him calculator so p uh that's x yeah it's a bit tricky yeah it's a little bit tricky but for okay for two marks i nyakang yo you installed man nyakang nyakang all right so lana we're gonna have oh, let's use this one it's a point of intersection anyway so y is equal to 2 over 5 raised to exponent x now for y on the y value of 0.59 equal to 2 over 5 or x ubani p that's p yeah then i'm gonna do or apply a lock on both sides um yeah it's a tricky one it's a tricky one but anyway ooh, ooh. lana i wanna calculate to bani up i wanna calculate to bani up so i'm gonna apply ama locks la to get to p1 so it's gonna be log 0 0.59 equal to p log 2 over 5 then p is equal to log uh, you divide up both sides by the log um, 2 over 5 log 0 0.59 divided by log 2 over 5 so the p ibaobani the p becomes oh, okay so log 0 0.59 and then log um 2 over 5 2 over 5 close bracket 0 0.558 yeah 0 0.58 0 0.58 that's p that's p almost close almost close to ulogao 0 0.59 all right so therefore our answer it's gonna be x okay no it's gonna be it's gonna be zero less than x the x less than bunny 0 0.58 so our answer lies somewhere between u zero and a where which young upon see the inverse function if i will be a all right so for the last question oh four point five for four point five <coughs> Describe the transformation from G to K. Now G, we have to compare. We have to compare. So now G, 2 over 5. 2 over 5x. And then we have OK of x, which is equal to, wow, 5 over 2. 5 over 2 uh, minus what? minus x plus 2 minus 5 over 2 minus 5 over 2 Ish, yeah, it's a tricky one but 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 I feel like low low negative x um, is causing our problems can on yeah but Mauta talk bigger on the original function we have five as a denominator. We have u two as any numerator, but this time around it's what? It's flipped. It's flipped. 
So in this ngayenza la, we can get rid of the negative la, ne? We can get rid of the negative. Why do I wanna get rid of the negative? Mfunu kuti buyele back to esimweni, where we had a similar case of u, um, a similar case of this fraction 2 over 5. Is also not that if we sell up back um, to that state, over then we can actually understand what happened with um, with getting the function Gabani Gachi. So we have to describe the transformation. I I can see what happened la, with this. It has moved by five over two units downward right that's the first transformation that took place another transformation that took place is is only born after we have um fixed the little guy the fraction so so when so so t5 over 2 minus x minus 2 minus 5 over 2 equal to equal to there is something in the technique this technique this exponential law i applied an exponential law where i have an expo a negative exponent i end up a positive but i flipped lama la lama la i flipped the fraction so i'm gonna do the same nala i have a negative exponent so i'm just gonna say two over five ding we are back to having the original fraction so we have 2 over 5 raised to exponent x minus 2 minus 5 over 2. Now I can describe what happened. 5 over 2 units down and what? 2 units right. 2 units right. 2 units to the right. I should ask with myself. Okay. I hope you know this. When we say minus 2, when we subtract from x, we are actually shifting the graph to the right. When we add to x, we are moving it to the left, right? But adding or subtracting from the whole or the entire function, we are doing what? Um, we are either moving it up, we are moving it down if it's a minus. It's a minus. So this was what was g what happened to g see move a two units right and five over two units down okay this concludes our discussion la for question four i hope we enjoyed this recording i hope we told you some value uh of course like how share our subscriber uh see bonane on the next recording but there's more there will be more links in the description box for you to um, continue watching Amalogange, some of these lessons. So, yes, thanks for tuning in. Asponane on the next one. Bye bye.